In Bhutan, many boys are sent to monasteries where they are trained from a young age to become Buddhist monks. Tanding grew up in this environment, believing that karma dictates the cycles of reincarnation and that Nirvana is the ultimate goal. Not a place of joy or rest, but an escape from pain and sorrow to nothing. Tandon wasn't satisfied by the teachings of the Buddha, and God worked miraculously to break into his life. Although there are very few Christians in Bhutan, and it's illegal to share the gospel, God was gracious and led Tandon to a believer in a mobile phone repair shop. After much conversation, he put his faith in Christ. Now even at the risk of persecution, Tandon leads a small church along with his wife. He also shares his faith with other Buddhist monks, many of whom are dissatisfied, just as he was. He prays that they too will have a powerful encounter with Jesus. I think what challenges me about this story is how much they're risking in order to, to follow Christ. And like, I'm never in that position where I could potentially get persecuted for my faith. I'm often even encouraged to follow my faith, to follow my beliefs, but these guys are living it out every day. That they've got the potential of being persecuted. Like their belief in God and their faith in God is so strong that they're willing to sacrifice everything for it. And I, am I at that point? I think it's challenging in terms of, am I there?